diğer dinleyici <coughs> and uh, Ravizi from FKCCI and my dear friend Arvind Limbavali ji who is State General Secretary of Bharati Janta Party, former minister and my colleague for the last uh, 15, 20 years with whom I have not only worked in a movement but uh, had an opportunity to address many gatherings of uh, both FKCCA and Kasia in the past. Mr. Jaya Bangera <coughs> and delegates of this uh, conference which is in good mix. We have youth delegates, young people and also we have mature persons. This is what in India we have, blend of both. And media friends. This is a very good event. So at the very outset I would like to congratulate the organizers, Bharat Niti. They have come to the capital of new technology in India. Bangalore is a really is a capital for the new technologies. And I am told now, just now, our organizer has informed that it is overbooked. They have registered in such a number and finally organizers had to stop. So this hotel has become limited for the unlimited enthusiasm we have outside. Really, the chief guest who has come has delivered a very good inaugural address. All the issues he has raised related to good governance, related to democracy, and definitely we have to appreciate and Bharat Niti, I am very happy they have identified a very appropriate person for this event. And in the government, if we have a ministry which is every day interacting and ser providing services for the large number of people in this country, it is railways. If railways is using social media, then the power of social media will be acknowledged in coming days by the people of this country. The greatness of the technology is only there when it is acknowledged by the people. Otherwise, what is the use of technology which people do not understand? The utility of the technology which is not known to the people. So social media as a technology is uh, now changing the quality of the life of the people. That is the most important thing. So I call it as a game changer in the democratic debate. In the democracy, what is the, the, the changing of the quality of the life of people in a democracy, then it is social media. That is the reason people who do not understand the technology and who do not use the technology, they also appreciate the value of the technology. Sometimes what happens in a house, an educated grandmother, she understands the use of the technology. And she asked the grandchild to use for her. You know, come on, you take the WhatsApp and you feed it like that. So now WhatsApp is more popular. So this is a very important subject on which Bharat Niti has organized a program. 
in the entire world india is going to become in years to come a country with fruitful democracy as a practice as a functioning democracy as a practice as uh, the earlier speaker has told there are number of variety of democracies in the world you know jia ul haq also used to call the country's polity as a democratic polity and china also now claims it is a country with a democratic polity so we have variety of democracies i am not going to analyze the contours of the democracy but definitely everybody knows everybody feels everybody understands you know the all people belonging to different colors different creeds and different kind of uh, uh, ideologies they are claiming their polity blunt to democracy means they are forced to accept the inevitability and indispensability of the democracy otherwise the chinese communist party there was no need of uh, putting that their country also has got the democracy the determining aspect of the democracy is the important thing we have to understand how the dissent the disagreeing opinion is valued how the followers are valued how the associates are valued is not the issue the issue is that in a democracy the opposition how it is treated that uh, determines the quality of the democracy i know when Musharraf came to this country as a guest, and Atal Ji's was government was there. <coughs> My friend at that time was a protocol minister. Dig me, Jai Singh. He is uh, now no more. <laughs> Not this Dig me, Jai Singh. <laughs> Another Dig me, Jai Singh was a quality parliamentarian coming from Bihar. <laughs> so he passed away untimely. So he was the protocol minister at that time. So he had an opportunity to interact with him. Then Musharraf expressed a few things, surprising things about India. So he told two things which I would like to share here. One is, by India when it got partitioned and when you have given something to Pakistan, you have. Retain all important things like uh, you know the South Block, North Block, all majestic buildings, Parliament, and this over imposing things you have. And in Islamabad, we are in Pakistan, we do not have anything. This he expressed. That is not important. But what he has expressed is what a kind of quality you have. Government has arranged and facilitated a meeting with. Uh, me with uh, the opposition leader sonia gandhi and other leaders at that time how it can happen in pakistan i never saw this kind of uh, interaction arranged and facilitated by the government that's what democracy means so the quality of democracy here in india we have a different thing so this is a very important point and democracy in india is getting deepened and widened the democracy in india definitely it has been valued from the beginning in india people who had doubts all over the world they are completely got rejected and their views and their claims and india 
as a country has to has come to remain as a real successful democratic country now nobody is expressing any doubt and democracy in the recent years if you see every election is approving the commitment for the indians in democracy every election including the election in jammu kashmir pakistan is fighting for what i don't know but jammu kashmir people are going in good number and every in every election they are taking part and the percentage of voting is going up this is the only country where you have the high altitude himalayas and low plains and you have the deep coast lines every kind of climatic zone and in every season we have elections and in every election the percentage of participation voting is going up this shows how democratic function is successful function is successful election commission is helping playing a good role as an institution and we as citizens we are playing a very effective role and there are ngos and celebrities who are also playing a good role in spreading the awareness so this democracy as a framework is becoming more more and more effective and in coming days it is going to be a very effective institution in the whole world through which india is going to establish as a very powerful functioning nation so more democratization is taking place in democracy so far marginalized communities so far neglected communities so far left out communities groups they are becoming effective they are becoming meaningful they are participating so the participation is getting increased in all this the technologies are also playing a major role and social media its role is also very important in this changing scenario so social media not just during the election campaign on every single issue on every current important issue today there is a discussion so it is not 12 hours it is 24 hours debating society debating country from district to capital from local to national everything is now trended and discussed in the social media so politically very active and engaged society we have in the whole world no country no society is engaged the way india is engaged so in this context social media is a very important medium and the population is also you understand in coming days how it is going to give shape to the whole global affairs india with a successful functioning praxis or framework and where people are satisfied and people are participating and people are engaged and 125 crore people engaged in a system don't think that it will have no role in shaping the global affairs whether it is security affairs or economic affairs or the political affairs and i would like to mention here one important thing it is not just 125 crore 25 crores what makes india unique it's a diverse country diverse in every aspect diverse in skill color diverse in religions diverse in customs diverse in traditions drivers in good habits drivers in languages can you show a single country with this kind of diversity is able to live this kind of harmonious life in the world you 
look when I get surprised when some American newspaper, I don't know the readers of that newspaper, getting published from New York or getting published from Washington, they preach and they give sermons about the how many are the problems about the religions in India. Definitely I can say the success of democracy in India itself is a lesson for the whole global community. We are enjoying diversity, we are living with the diversity, we are nurturing the diversity and this technology is also helping and enriching the diversity in this country. If you see the population, you know the diversity and the population mix. Mind boggling. This kind of huge population and the diversity, nowhere we have. Even the global population, if you see the northern part of the global population, it is almost stagnant. In 2005, or before, if you take, it's you know 1.22 million or billion to 1.25 billion, added only 30 million or 3 million or 5 million, 10 million. It's a stagnant society. Population growth is not there. But in 1800, the population of the South, if you remove the Australia, New Zealand, and Japan, the population in the South, it started from 1 billion, now it is going to touch in 2070, 10 billion. This kind of a human population on the South part. And not only just population, you know, in 1800, India and China combined, they were dominating the economic scene and the trade and the international trade. It is only 250 years, 220 years. Now, Shashi Tarur has written a book, which is long back, you know, written by, first written by Dada Bhai Navaji. How India got fleeced? Exploited. So India and China, we were dominating the entire economic and trade scenario all over the world. Not for 100 years, not for 200 years, but more than 1000 years, uninterrupted glory. Now it is coming back. I am making this statement, it is coming back. Now you may be calculating in terms of 1% or 2%, but in the next quarter century and half a century, then the situation is going to get changed. So the South, China and India, again they are going to dominate. So one side the human population, the other side is the wealth, and third is the civilizational wealth which we have, the world's brain bank is India. I am saying that it is the world's brain bank, if you want to call it, is India. So the Indian young, they are going to steer the global affairs. So now we have to understand in that context the importance of the technology and the social media. Aspirations and ambitions, which are going to propel the civilizationally rooted community and community society. So this is a very important thing I am interested in making. So the success of the polity and democracy <coughs> and the success of the governance in this context social media is going to become a game changer. Now in coming days the political parties which are institutions are vehicles of the democratic functioning in this country. You know when we, we discuss about democracy in India we cannot ignore and isolate. 
the political parties and then discuss about the democracy. No. We have a multiple multi-party democracy. So in coming days, political parties are going to compete with each other and politicians have to compete with each other. When I say politicians, don't take it to the national level, even at the local level. So now every public worker is in the public scrutiny. People are going to judge. Every act is going to get judged. Now the limited number of cameras which we used to have now it is no more. Now we have millions of cameras. Now guide wards are vulnerable spaces. <laughs> vulnerable spaces. You cannot disown any statement. You cannot disown any act. So in this context, one govern democracy is becoming powerful, democracy is energized and democracy is becoming active in functioning in every local unit. And political parties need to change. And the leaders are expected to change. And in this, the government is also cannot be in a frozen situation. Officers also cannot be in a frozen situation. So in coming days, the definition of governance is going to get changed with the advent of social media and with this uh, deep penetration of the social media. We have platforms. We have multiple platforms, not just one single platform. And the platforms are two-way. Of course, I know there are problems and problems do come, but problems can be addressed. The essential character of the social media, which is very positive and which is very useful for the people, in increasing the participation and in increasing the transparency, and in increasing the scrutiny or auditing of the governance at all levels. In coming days, now collectors have to be, or the block officers, development officers, or village officers, they have to be active on the social media. Of course, now what we have heard from our minister is, uh, Narendra Modi ji is leading the pack. He is creating such a situation, now no party can go away from that. No leader can go away from that. So in coming days, social media. You know media, I am not talking about one individual, this banner or that manner, but media used to think that we are the gatekeepers. We are the custodians of democracy. And we can make and unmake the leaders and political parties. And whatever we understand as the correct for the democracy, whatever we write as correct for the democracy in our editorials, that will be taken by the people. And it had reached in the past certain levels. And they come to occupy the privileged positions. Now those things are got dismantled. <laughs> the power of people is becoming unbridled. So now this gatekeeper concept or the concept of the custodians which has created and cultivated a feeling of elitism is gone, disappeared. That mass feeling has come now, no elitism, now only egalitarianism, equality. So level playing field has come. Costs have come down. Corruption will have to go down. Corruption
फैशन एंड सोशल मीडिया कैनॉट को एग्जिस्ट एलिटिज्म एंड प्रिविलेजेस एंड सोशल मीडिया सक्सेसफुल सोशल मीडिया कैनॉट को एग्जिस्ट सो इन कमिंग डेज दीज आर दिंग्स विच आर गोइंग टू चेंज द फॉर्म एंड कंटेंट ऑफ द गवर्नेंस नॉट जस्ट इलेक्शन not the reach of the leader but the governance is going to get changed from municipal administration from village administration to the state and central level definitely ngos are like this are going to play a role social organizations are going to play a role and all are going to play a role in shaping and in curtailing the negative aspects we have the capacity of a kind of resilience in this society we can counter and address all those negatives i understand and you understand we need to discuss those things but we have the capacity the positivity is more important so in governance can you understand in coming days police station cannot keep itself away from the social scrutiny or public scrutiny because of the availability of social media so the entire meaning of governance at the local level and at the institutional level is going to get changed these are the important things and new technologies are going to come it's not just today's three avenues are going to remain for the next 15 years no the avenues and platforms are going to get changed new platforms will definitely emerge but there is a challenge i would like to mention here india as a country with huge population with huge market with huge uh, as i told the in intelligence are the brain bank we have and the wealth is also going to get increased in coming years the accumulation of surplus is going to get increased and as a trading country as a part country with the wealth power we are going to become one of the important countries and economies in the world so in such a situation definitely in coming years a quest a kind of hunger or a kind of search is going to also increase among the people who are entrepreneurs why we should not own our own platforms why we should not create indian like definitely in this context data is a very important thing the data about the india it is not just i am you know data about the uh, citizens details this is a small thing data about the indian knowledge knowledge not just of uh, 18th century to 19th century 20th century the global knowledge if you visualize and analyze you know the knowledge created in the last 200 years can be stored in one shelf compared to the knowledge of the india we have the knowledge which got accumulated in the you know among the citizens of the members of the society for the last 5000 6000 years so the streams of knowledge we have got in our tradition through that the kind of knowledge we we have got in the society that is uh, very important very precious and very powerful connecting the present society with those knowledge traditions become possible with this technology so owning the data keeping the data ability to analyze the data and again connecting the future developments with the help of that data is it is going to become very important so social media it is not just a, a superficial layer it has got immense capacity immense value or infinite value layer after layer it is going to get unraveled 
so the new entrepreneurs also will definitely emerge in this orbit of technology so all these are the very important issues i feel bangalore being the capital of this new technology for this country is required to discuss all these issues and these issues are very important for this country starting from the democratic functioning to the level of established establishing this country rooted in the civilizational values making this country as a glorious country number one country culturally rich civilizationally rich diversity wise rich poverty no way not just economic poverty i am talking about intellectual poverty no way to be seen so that kind of nation if we want to establish so the demographic demographic dividend which we are discussing the kind of population we have got you know the person whose date of birth is between 1960s and 70s like me our ability to observe the technology compared to the people whose date of birth is after 80s their capacity 90s their capacity to observe the technology is you know there is a difference we are equipped so this young people they are going to drive this country amplifying the chances and opportunities which are available for this great country so bangalore i feel understanding the subterranean movements shifts and the possibilities which this country has got and building the superstructure based on that is very important so today's uh, discussion is not just about the this state government or that state government or this ministry or that ministry or this village or that village or this uh, central government or that is not the issue it's only superficial but in coming days all these aspects we have to discuss and we have to create leaders who are masters of this technology so with this uh, important issues i know i understand there is an intellectual elite in this country there is a kind of uh, intellectual establishment in this country which is frozen frozen world is moving but they are not if i have to give a ling linguistic simile you may be able to find out your own relatives in this when i say this but for easy understanding sake i am saying there may be some bengalis here you know we all bengali is pronounced we all pronounce swami vivekananda we pronounce vivekananda but when you go to bengali they pronounce what vivekananda you pronounce shri arabindo we all indians we pronounce shri arabindo really shri arabindo but you go and ask bengali to pronounce then what they pronounce arbindo because they don't know they don't have in their uh, linguistics syllables or the sounds that wa sound is missing whenever they come across wa sound they pronounce ba sound that box is missing in their mind <laughs> they don't have wa they have the ba it doesn't mean that wa is not there in the world but for them it is not wa it is ba In the same way, I, I, I am not positioning that Bengalis have some problem. It's, you know, I am not interested in. I am nowhere in making them down. But the point, the limitation, like that. For example, in Rajasthan, I worked there. You know, you pronounce, you say sa, sa ri ga ma pa da ni sa, sa, Sindhu. You pronounce in Rajasthan where I live. the border areas they pronounce ha 
हाडे हात सेवन थर्टी साडे सात दे प्रोनाउन्स हाडे हात राजस्थानी इज देर हाडे हात इट डज मीन दट साय इज नॉट देर साय इज देर बट ही हॅज द लिमिटेशन In the same way, this old intellectual establishment, they feel, if they don't agree, then they that aspect is it it does not exist. But world is not going to accept. The concept of India is evolving. They are not going to accept the frozen definitions. social media is driving that campaign and demolishing the old structures and accepted positions so this is going to happen so in all aspect the concept of india the definition of india the spirit and the essence of india the culture and civilizational values of india and the purpose for which everybody is motivated the all indian young people all these things now there may be some left and right but the main social media is going to reflect all these aspirations so in coming days we will have more vibrant more powerful nation in which social media is emerging as a game changer and which we are discussing today and this is going to help all of us thank you